Survival Secrets How the Andes Plane Crash Changed Everything The plane crash in the Andes in 1972 remains one of the most harrowing events in aviation history and a powerful symbol of human will and survival spirit. On October 13, 1972, a Fairchild FH-227D aircraft carrying a Uruguayan rugby team, along with several others, crashed in the Andes Mountains, marking the beginning of a fierce battle for survival between man and nature. This event is not only a story of survival in extremely harsh conditions but also a profound lesson in solidarity, resilience, and courage in the face of desperate circumstances. Alan Hurst, one of the few survivors of the crash, has become a symbol of intense survival spirit. His story, along with those of others, has become emblematic of human will when confronted with unimaginable challenges. This essay will delve into the details of the crash, the role of Alan Hurst, and the broader significance of this story in the context of survival and resilience. Through this analysis, we will explore the valuable lessons that can be drawn from this painful but inspirational experience. The Andes plane crash of 1972 began with a flight carrying the Uruguayan rugby team from Montevideo to Santiago, Chile. On October 13, 1972, the Fairchild FH-227D aircraft, carrying a total of 45 people, encountered trouble and crashed into the Andes. The crash instantly claimed several lives, leaving the survivors in a desperate situation. The aftermath of the crash presented extreme challenges. The freezing weather and harsh terrain of the Andes made rescue efforts nearly impossible. The survivors faced severe shortages of food and water. In fact, the survivors had to endure unimaginable conditions, sub-zero temperatures, no outside help, and deteriorating health. Search and rescue efforts were launched soon after the crash, but the difficult terrain and weather conditions hampered them significantly. As days passed without signs of rescue, the situation grew increasingly dire. The combination of treacherous terrain and harsh weather posed massive challenges to the rescue teams, and the public began to doubt whether any victims could survive. Tough decisions quickly became essential for survival. To stay alive, the survivors had to make painful and difficult choices, they resorted to consuming the flesh of those who had died. This was not only a decision of survival but also an enormous psychological and moral challenge. The survivors had to grapple with inner conflict and the pressures of the harsh environment, which contributed to an emotional and gripping survival story. Ultimately, the survivors' recovery was a long and arduous process. After being rescued, they had to undergo both physical and psychological healing. This experience not only changed their lives but also created a touching story of human survival and resilience. Alan Hurst, one of the survivors of the Andes crash, played a pivotal role in this story. He was one of the key figures in this survival battle, facing numerous harsh challenges. Personal details about Alan Hurst reveal that he was one of the younger members of the rugby team. His background not only included athletic skills but also leadership qualities and a resilient spirit. His personal relationships with the team members and the close bonds they shared helped him maintain a sense of unity within the group. When the crash occurred, Alan Hurst faced incredibly harsh challenges. He and the other survivors had to find ways to stay alive in freezing weather and with scarce food supplies. Alan Hurst played a crucial role in keeping the group focused and maintaining their optimism. The decision to consume the bodies of the deceased was one of the most difficult challenges the survivors faced. Alan Hurst and the group had to weigh this decision under extreme stress. This decision was not just a survival act but a deep ethical and psychological test. Alan Hurst displayed leadership and decisiveness in carrying out this choice. Despite the profound internal conflict it caused, in the search for rescue, Alan Hurst actively participated in efforts to keep the group's morale high and maintain unity. His determination to stay optimistic and seek help from the outside was critical in helping the group survive the toughest trials. Alan Hurst's story has become a symbol of an indomitable survival spirit. His legacy lies not only in surviving a traumatic experience but in how he inspired others. Alan Hurst's resilience and determination have become a source of inspiration for many, proving the strength of the human spirit in the face of the harshest circumstances. The story of Alan Hurst and the Andes plane crash carries deep meaning regarding the will to survive, team spirit, 
and the moral dilemmas faced in survival situations. The will to survive under the harsh conditions of the Andes stands as clear proof of human mental strength. The survivors had to fight not only against the unforgiving environment but also against psychological and physical decline. This experience emphasizes the power of will and resilience, showing that people can overcome immense challenges when they have faith and determination. Team spirit played a crucial role in overcoming adversity. The survivors supported each other and maintained a sense of unity throughout the survival ordeal. Team spirit not only helped sustain mental strength but also became a key factor in making survival decisions and maintaining optimism. Ethics and psychology in survival situations are important themes in this story. The decision to consume the flesh of the deceased was not just a survival act but raised questions about morality and inner conflict. These decisions reflect the difficulty and pain of preserving life under extreme conditions. And they highlight important psychological and ethical factors in confronting survival situations. The impact of the story on the community and society is profound. The story of Alan Hurst and the survivors has inspired many people and created deep awareness of human strength in the face of extreme situations. It has also sparked interest in the study and understanding of survival scenarios and human spirit. Finally, recording and sharing the story is vital. Alan Hurst's story is not just a lesson in survival but a source of inspiration for others. Continuing to study and share this story will provide a deeper understanding of human experience and valuable lessons from extreme situations. The story of the Andes plane crash and Alan Hurst's survival has deeply inspired numerous literary and cinematic works. These creations not only reflect the harrowing experience but also offer profound insight into the human will to survive and the spirit of teamwork in extreme conditions. Books and documentaries have been significant sources preserving the story of the crash. One prominent book is Alive, The Story of the Andes Survivors, 1987, by Pierce Paul Reed. This book provides a detailed account of the event and the tough decisions the survivors had to make. Alive is more than just a survival story. It offers a deep psychological analysis of human behavior in extreme situations. The book has become a crucial reference for studies on survival and the psychological factors related to it. Films and other media have also played an important role in popularizing the story. The movie Alive, 1993, directed by Frank Marshall, is one of the most notable films based on Piers Paul Reed's book. It not only accurately portrays the events but also conveys the emotional pain of the victims realistically. The harsh visuals and authentic reenactment of the survival conditions help the audience better understand the challenges the survivors faced. The film has been praised for its powerful emotional impact and its faithful reflection of the story's spirit. Criticism and reviews of these works often focus on their ability to reflect reality and create empathy with the viewers. Critics usually commend how the books and films profoundly depict the suffering and resilience of the victims. However, some reviews point out that certain elements may be exaggerated to enhance drama, which might detract from the accuracy of the real story. The cultural impact of the Andes plane crash story has been significant. It has become a part of popular culture, inspiring many artistic and cultural works. It has also fueled interest in themes of survival, resilience, and ethics in extreme situations. This story is frequently mentioned in discussions about the human will to survive and the capability to overcome adversity. The lessons from these works are invaluable. They not only help us understand the experience of the victims but also offer important insights into the strength of the human spirit and the ability to face horrific challenges. The study and analysis of these works show how art and literature can reflect and clarify survival issues and the human will to live. The story of the Andes plane crash and Alan Hurst's survival has become a powerful symbol of mental strength and teamwork. From harsh difficulties to moral decisions, this story provides many valuable lessons about humanity and life. In summary, the Andes plane crash was not only a tragic historical event but also a testament to the resilience and willpower of human beings. Alan Hurst, along with the other survivors, demonstrated that mental strength can overcome the harshest of challenges. Teamwork and mutual support played a critical role in maintaining life and overcoming adversity. The lessons drawn from this story emphasize the importance of resilience and solidarity in extreme situations. It shows that even in the most difficult circumstances, 
Humans are capable of sustaining life and finding ways to surpass obstacles. Team spirit and mutual support are essential factors in facing hardships and maintaining hope. The legacy and impact of this story are vast. It has not only inspired many but also created a deep awareness of the strength of the human spirit in extreme situations. This story has also promoted interest in researching and understanding survival scenarios and the human psyche. Further studies and analyses could focus on gaining deeper insight into the psychology and factors that influence survival in extreme situations. These studies could help develop new strategies and methods to support those in difficult situations and improve human survival capabilities. The concluding note highlights that Alan Hurst's story and the survivor's journey serve as a powerful source of inspiration for all of us. It is not just a lesson in survival but also a reminder of human strength when facing immense challenges. This story encourages us to continue learning from difficult experiences while maintaining resilience and solidarity in everyday life.